What is up everyone, it is Furious. This is the first episode of this new z Mauler series that y'all have been waiting for so long. I know I mentioned I was going to start this back in November 2020. I do apologize that it's been so long. It is May 18, 2021. So it's definitely been like five to six months. Anyhow, uh, thankfully we're heading towards the summer. So I have a bit more time. And hopefully I'm going to try to put out one or two videos a week regarding this series. All the links I mentioned will be down below. And yeah, let's get right into it. So the first link is IllustPDFR. This is a great site. When I first began, uh, I mean, for any experienced developer, this is another great site where you can download parts and such. And now quick disclaimer, if you're starting out in Z, you know, non ELS Z modeler, uh, I recommend using free parts that a lot of developers have donated or published publicly instead of purchasing paid stuff. Now, uh, if you're first starting out, because there's been a lot of developers in the past where they watch a few tutorials and they install light bar on a charger and they want to sell it for like 20 to 30 bucks while whilst, whilst the product isn't really all that, you know, no, this ain't no offense. Just leave it to that. So if, if your intentions are just to uh, put a light bar on a charger, that's about it and sell it for 20 bucks please do not do that uh first you want to get the basics down um what i'm trying to say pretty much is don't watch this tutorial or any tutorials in that matter just install light bar and sell it right away right first get the basics down uh get fluent at z modeler and then if you want to sell then that's obviously up to you but i'm just saying that there's been a few developers i don't want to mention any names that they just add light bars lights you know broken models a broken model it's not really well assembled and they tend to sell it for 15 to 30 bucks or more uh that's just a quick disclaimer uh, once you have you know z modeler down the basics then yeah like i said that's up to you if you want to purchase paid bases just to increase your your talent right uh i first started using paid bases i want to say it's definitely been over a year now but when i first started like the first three to four months i stayed away from paid parts because they're a bit quite expensive nowadays and you know websites like lsp gpm and money forum are a great source to get high quality high quality paid stuff or free stuff excuse me um so in this tutorial series i'm gonna try my best to use all paid excuse me all paid uh, i messed up again in this series i'm gonna try my best to use all public there we go all public parts that way if you're completely new you can follow along exactly what i do so in this series i decided to use or create a 2014 dodge charger and i'm going to be using clio's base underwoods about edited by clio all the links once again will be down below and i'm just looking for that base model at the moment there we go 2011 2014 dodge charger ppv download this file I already have it downloaded so i'm not going to download it again and then the second website gpm you could go to either one it's completely up to you sort by most downloaded and these are the most downloaded assets from the by the community uh this charger right here is probably one of the best public 2018 dodge charge base models out there at the moment uh this is pretty much where these are sites where you could get parts lighting etc base models and stuff and if you're interested in the paid stuff, I also have a few discords where I typically go to, such as Georgia Moon, CEO, Dan with the Van, Billy J. All their links will be down below. Not affiliated, by the way. Just mention them because, you know, they create a very high quality paid stuff if you're interested. So I decided to go ahead and use the Federal Signal Legend on this series. I already have it downloaded but just download the light bar you want to use parts vehicle bases whatever download them and i'm not going to be using well i am going to be using these uh, but not in this video so once you have that downloaded the first thing i like to do is create a new folder anywhere and then just name it the name of the vehicle so in this case it's going to be 2014 dosh charger and then i'm gonna put tutorial series just so i don't forget open that up and then you're going to place i already have another folder that has all that in there 
you're going to place all the things that you, you downloaded onto here. And then WinRAR, a link, that, a link will be in the description as well. It's a program where it gives you 7-zip. Right click, extract each archive to separate folder. Let it do its thing. And then I typically delete these zips so we don't need them anymore. So this is the base model right here. You, you want to go ahead and open that up. And then it should be data files. Locate the Z3D. There it is. And I typically copy that. Control C. And then I bring it back to the beginning. I create a new folder. Uh, why is it being slow? Create, I name it parts and I just drag all that in there. And then I just paste. Oh yeah, that's true because I just moved it. So let me go ahead and do that again. This is just so you're organized. I like you don't have to do this, but if you want to stay consistent and be organized, because organization is key. This is what I do. I could have folder with all the parts I'm gonna be using for that model, and then I copy the main Z3D base model onto the main directory, and then I just open it when I want to work on it. Right. So you're gonna double click to open it. Now this is personal preference. I typically only use two paints. There's some developers that use four. Let me go ahead and open that up. There's some developers that use four, right? I'm not one of those uh, who use the four panes. That's totally up to you. I use two, so I use the 3D and then the front view. But yeah, this is pr totally personal preference on under the settings as well, right there. And then you can just change colors right there. But yeah, so once you have the base bottle in here, this is pretty much how it looks like. This right here is called the Hariyaki. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but when I say Hariyaki, look over here. And then these are your LOs, L1s. That's where we're gonna be when we're um, LOing compounding lights. This is where it's gonna be at. Collision, this is dust, so pretty much dirt mapping and stuff, which I probably will make a video down, further down the series. And then this is your main keys that you're going to be using to move, mirror, flip, rotate, scale, select, polygon, separated, editing UV when we're changing the color lights, reset apparent. So yeah, I'm just giving y'all a brief of where everything is located at. Okay, so to merge something in, let's say we want to merge in the live bar that we downloaded, we want to go over to file merge and then locate that oh it's not here it's on my desktop uh there where's it at locate that folder where your parts are at so it's going to be federal signal legend by walters double click the z3d and then click all merge and then when it's like this you don't see everything, you just click L1 and then L0 back and it should come to normal. So since it is a 28, uh, 2014 DOS charger, we will be using the 45 inch one, the smallest one, the longer the length, you know, the bigger the vehicle. And then we're going to open this up, plus sign, and then we're going to select everything and then just click dismiss. And then just drag everything out in order to get the emissives like so, edit delete that down and then we want to move our emissives up like so and then miss cake all the way up and then you want your siren glass to be above the material this looks off hold up there we go so it depends by light bar some light bars the siren glass has to be under the actual light bar itself or the other way around but you just want it so it looks normal i guess right there that does not look normal right because it's transparent so that tells me sign glass has to go down so to select you left click and then you let go to deselect you just click anywhere like so you left click towards the right to select once again you're gonna left click up hold left click and then select it moving your mouse towards that direction and then to deselect left click anywhere like a little like that right so we're gonna have we want to accommodate this to the roof of the 2014 dash charger so go ahead and select it 
and then spacebar will turn off auto and furious what is auto so if auto is on and i try to move it it's gonna deselect it always so if you're trying to move something the easiest way to do it is select it and then turn off auto and then when i left click anywhere it's going to move the light bar right so let's turn on the uh the vehicle and then this is pretty much already centered on top you just have to um push this back so if you're in the front view x y and z z z pushes it back y up and down and then x left and right but since this light bar is already centered you just have to push it back and then angle it so it appropriate like so and then to rotate these are the settings if you want to rotate something rotate geometry on rotate axis off or on excuse me and then affect children and rotate normals you want those off x axis and then this is tilting it up and down so, but since the rooftop of this is a bit uh, folded, you just want to keep it like that. And then, usually straps go in between the two doors, but that's all personal preference once again. Some department vehicles RL tend to have it more forward, others have it over here, and then some weird ones have it all the way back here, but we're not going to be doing that. I'm going to be keeping it right, uh, as centered as possible, and then push that a little bit down. And yeah, that's pretty much how to merge in stuff now let's merge in the last uh thing which is the push bar by terry links are down below and then you want to click all and then merge and then click it if it's once again if it's like missing just click l1 and then back to l and it should pop up so yeah that's pretty much how you merge stuff the next uh, video episode will show you how to actually configure the light bar this small video was pretty much just to give you the basics a few disclaimers on how this series is going to go anyhow if y'all enjoy this series video please leave a, a thumbs up this will show me that you guys are actually interested and i do apologize if i'm blah, blah, like messing up not knowing what to say it's just I, I don't have a script to follow it's it all comes to my head so yeah so links once again are down below if you want to follow along thank you for watching